Number four, use honest measures. In our book, Biblical Economic Policy, Sergey and I cite Deuteronomy 25.15 as a key scripture about honest measures. It reads, You must maintain accurate and honest weights and measures so that you may live long in the land that the Lord your God is giving you. Now, for more on that topic, I'll refer you to podcast 67 titled Free Scale. The California legislator's proposal requires companies to pay their employees the same for doing 32 hours of work than they paid for 40. That's not an honest measure. It's also laughable. Talk about inflation. Uh, Inflation is simply more dollars chasing fewer goods. This absurd proposal would produce 25% inflation in its first week. Now, fortunately, the United States is a republic where states can sometimes do what they want. So we can watch a continual 50-state competition for the best economic ideas. Arthur Laffer's latest book is titled The Wealth of States, and it studies that competition. The result is very predictable. People are moving from California and New York to Florida and Texas, because that's where the jobs are. This foolish proposal clearly explains why the jobs are there. Okay, let's advance this proposal a little further. So if 32 hours is better than 40, isn't 26 better than 32? Hey, hey, where does this end? Oh, with people being paid for not working. I explained that economically unsustainable idea in podcast 95, titled Paying People Not to Work. Someday, I'll record a podcast explaining how L. Frank Baum wrote The Wizard of Oz as a political economic allegory. But for today... You need to visualize only the scene where the dog Toto pulls back the curtain and the wizard warns, Pay no attention to that man behind the curtain. Well, that man is the California legislature. They think they can pull some strings and create value without work. They can't.